Hey everyone, it's Carlo, Carlo Libertini here. In this Melodyne video, I'm going to show you how to do multi-track drum editing, how to trim multiple tracks at once to be exact. If you've got five tracks of audio here or any number of tracks of audio in your project, you can literally select multiple tracks at once and do group audio trimming. It's an amazing, powerful new feature and it's available here in Melodyne 4. Let's take a listen. I've got these drum tracks. I've got overheads, toms, kick, snare, and there's a drum buildup in the beginning, a floor tom hit that goes on for about almost four bars, and then it kicks in on the downbeat. Let's take a listen to what I mean. Now, what if you wanted to trim some of that out? To have an intro to the song, but something that wasn't so long. Well, it's really easy to do. At the top, we have our tracks view, but down here is the Melodyne editing window. In order to start manipulating audio, we need to get it in this window. And to do that, we have these select focus buttons. One is orange and one is gray. When it's grayed, it means it's presented in the editing window, but it's not available for editing. It's just for visual referencing only. So let's select the orange one. I'm going to hold my command key on my Mac, and I'm going to select multiple at once. Now what I did is I populated the editing window with all of these percussive tracks. Now, they look like they're summed together, but they're really not. They're overlapping. So again, keep in mind down here in the lower right corner is the spread unison button. When I select that, you can see that any overlapping audio is simply fanned out. This has nothing to do with pitch, just overlapping audio. In fact, we're going to keep this view to get started. Now I'm going to bring it here to the minus one bar back, and let's play it from there. And we want to find a place where we can start doing some drum trimming. We want to trim these tracks down, get like a shorter kick in. And I see a really nice hit here. So let's put the cursor on that beat and let's listen to the uh, session from there. Now I like that. So what we're going to do here, and remember this is group audio drum track editing, is by selecting all of this audio at once, now I can edit these individual tracks at once. And all I'm going to simply do is hit my delete key. And there it's gone, it's as easy as that. Now let's take a listen from there. One more time. And keep in mind, this works for any kind of audio, not just percussive elements like the ones we're presenting here. So you can select multiple tracks, populate them in the single editing environment, and then you can edit them as a group. In this example, we trimmed five tracks, separate tracks of drums at one time. And I've got that more of a tighter, more sooner kick and feel that I was looking for. And that's multiple drum track trimming here in Melodyne 4. Thanks for watching. I'm Carlo Libertini.